Hey everyone, Dr. David Clark here. I want to explain why there is a link between higher thyroid stimulating hormone and unexplained uh, infertility. So why would uh, TSH be high to begin with? Well, uh, TSH can be high because you're not making enough thyroid hormones. There's kind of this little feedback that happens where TSH is made by the pituitary gland in an attempt to get your thyroid gland to make more thyroid hormone. Now, if your TSH on lab work is, you know, high, then, and that's the only thing that's high, like the T4 and T3 aren't high yet, then they'll say you have subclinical hypothyroid. If the TSH is high and the T4 is low, the free T4 is low, they'll say you have, you know, overt or just plain hypothyroidism. The number one cause of both of those is something called Hashimoto's. Now, Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition where you are attacking the inside of your thyroid gland. Now, Hashimoto's is certainly one reason why, if you had a higher TSH, that you may be infertile because Hashimoto's is not simply a thyroid problem. Hashimoto's likes to create collateral damage. Uh, Hashimoto's likes to create a problem with making enough hormones. It creates a problem with using those hormones, which is something no one ever talks about. And it also has collateral damage. Hashimoto's is inflammatory. And there are a lot of cytokines floating around. Cytokines are like, uh, cytokines are immune system messengers. And having Hashimoto's, uh, if you have it as the cause of your TSH, it's like having an octopus stuck on your back and it's got its tentacles in all different corners of your biochemistry. And it's one of the things that we know just independently, Hashimoto's is associated with infertility. Now, to be fair, another cause why your TSH might be high uh, is you might be low in iodine. But I gotta tell you, for most people here in America, that's probably not what it is. Now, in other parts of the world where they're iodine deficient, then certainly that can do it. But in America, that's probably not what's doing it. Despite what you read, despite what somebody might tell you about it, the United States is a iodine replete area, which means we all pretty much get the iodine we're supposed to get. So what does that leave? Well, it leaves Hashimoto's as probably the connection between having a higher TSH and having unexplained fertility. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is, please be working with someone who understands that and knows that, because having a TSH that's a five or a six, that's called subclinical hypothyroidism, and sometimes people don't make a big deal out of that. But if you're trying to get pregnant, you absolutely need to be making sure that that's under control. Now, if that means that you need to be taking thyroid medication, great, do that. But also make sure that someone is finding out if you have Hashimoto's. Because Hashimoto's, you can test for that. You can do a TPO antibody test. You can do a thyroglobulin antibody test. But then even then, you got to make sure you're working with someone who can do something about that autoimmune process. Because look, just taking levothyroxine or Synthroid, that's great if you need it, but that doesn't do anything for the Hashimoto's. And the Hashimoto's is what can still cause the infertility through these other mechanisms. So yes, you don't want to be hypothyroid, and the higher TSH goes, the more likely you are to have unexplained uh, infertility. So make sure you're working with someone that understands that Hashimoto's is probably the, the key there. That's probably the thing that's underlying those problems uh, with getting pregnant if your TSH is a little bit elevated.